Welcome, welcome, and good morning. Today we're taking a look at Cardano and how it's performed against the dollar. And also taking a look at Bitcoin. We're going to look at two different charts and update uh, this chart, which is Cardano versus the dollar. Um, so really quick, before we get into everything, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe, drop the like, let me know what do you think where will cardano be one month from today and let's get into it so a chart from march 23rd which is about three weeks now uh, we've got the one week uh candle so we'll get a little bit of action here and you know i was actually surprised uh i mean surprise cardano is a great asset so i'm, I'm not surprised in its performance but how quickly uh the market has pushed um it seems apparent you know we've flipped uh we've flipped my resistance mark we've broken up on this pennant and uh, you know very quickly uh defying uh you know kind of what i thought would happen for the near future um i had been hoping for a retrace and probably selfishly so because i wanted to <laughs> buy more cardano um but uh you know, we did push the green. It looks like we might push this green line. So uh, when I get to this chart here in a couple minutes, you know, we're going to look at uh, what can we expect out of this breakout? What are we going to look at for setting up our trades? Um, where would we identify uh, sell marks, etc.? cetera? Um, but before we get into that, always a nice reminder this channel does not serve as financial advice. I'm not a licensed financial advisor, nor am I your financial advisor. Uh, you know, these videos exist as financial entertainment on YouTube, financial education. Basically, we enjoy the charts. We like other people that enjoy the charts. So thanks for sticking around. Hopping over to Cardano and Bitcoin. When we update this chart, uh, we do get a nice little bit of action and again confirming this sort of uh, all I mean dare I say it confirming this sort of like alt season movement that's really been underway since the beginning of 2021 I mean uh, people people that say when alt season um, when alt season well, alt season's been going on um, you know if you look here uh, got a pretty good rise against Bitcoin uh, after a very stagnant period since the uh, 20, 2019 uh, Bitcoin bull run. Well, let's see. So 2019 Bitcoin bull run starts. Yeah, probably right around here, April 1st. And then, yep. Yeah, that doesn't quite line up so well. That yeah, doesn't matter. Um, but let's hop on over to the current Cardano uh, USD chart and take a look. Um, you know, what we see is a lot of uh, buying momentum into Cardano and actually uh, a lot of holding, uh, which is really good to see this price pushing in this way. Um, it does mean there's a lot of folks who are uh you know there there's a there's a potential sell off i mean there's certainly a we're we're, we're holding a much higher volume uh at a higher price than we were and you know that could spell some complications but let's take these off here and start looking at what do we think is going to happen now? You know, you might notice on the Bitcoin chart, I did have a trend line that was going. And I don't think we're quite ready to draw another trend line. Excuse me, I have to cough. I don't think we're quite ready to draw another trend line here. You know, and I'm actually going to break this down. Let's, let's go down to the day so we can get a better idea. And... Wow, that is really nice to see. Um, I think near term, um, near term, I'm going to expect a little bit of a, uh, where's the arrow? There it is. 
near term probably going to expect uh, we're going to retrace and then longer period of time I think we do um, yeah the more that I look at this and look at look at sort of the recent action I, I wonder if um, I wonder if I'm missing a support or a support and resistance line in the in the middle here um, I'm gonna put that there this is kind of my expectation for what we might be looking at you know if I'm setting up this trade from or really looking for an entry um, this is what I might be looking for is something like this Hold on. Yeah, I might really be looking at something like that. I, I, you know, I think this is realistic. This is kind of what I, what I'm expecting in the near term here. Um, I don't, I don't think that Bitcoin's gonna cool off. The more that I, I, I don't think it's gonna cool off immediately. Immediately, I think we've got a little bit of like slow upward growth to 70, 75,000 before we start to trend down and the question is really you know what happens so so i should put it this way the, the question to me is when the when the bear market for bitcoin begin or when the bitcoin or whether a bear market will begin it's what point does it begin how fast does it begin and where are alts when it happens that's really what i'm starting to try to look at i mean uh, you know, if you look at the last four, five, six months of market action, there's been a lot of money created. Um, money created, a lot of money made by folks who uh, have held for a long time. Um, and you know, it's 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 hard to predict, but uh, that money's got to start coming out at some point. And then I don't, yeah. So. Near term, looking at this, beyond that, you know, let's see is set up. Something like this. Wow, what, de what degeneracy is that? I'd probably just go more. Yeah, we don't know one ninety nine. What on earth is this wildness? What do you think? I mean, I like making calls. Folks know that. I like making calls that I can come back to. I don't mind if I'm wrong. Uh, it's 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 fun to put it out there, and I mean this is I should move I should move this this to the left because folks always say oh it doesn't hit it on your time frame. It's like well you know I make charts for visuality sake. Not necessarily to make the time frame look as best as it can. So, what do you think, folks? This is what I got. So, to summarize, I'm seeing a. All right, we'll summarize. Summarizing recent action. Since the last time we looked at Cardano, it has gone above. It has flipped flipped resistance into support around 131 I think the near term it's going to retest that we're sitting at about 147 right now I think at about a 8% retest drop it back down to the 130s and from there I think we power to this 
sort of discovered resistance uh, around uh, 185. I think this is what's going to happen. And set, setting up a first trade where I would be looking at 140. What is that? 131 for a buy, 131 for a buy, 123 for a sell, and then 186 for a sell. 5% risk, 40%. I mean, this that's that that looks nice. This looks nice too. Uh, <laughs> this one's this one's a little more. They're both interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Not the biggest fan of, uh, and you know, I don't. I don't really play. Playing short on crypto is. I, I don't, most of the times, it's just I just hold cash. I just let them fall. But holding cash is being short on crypto. Holding BTC is also being short on alts. Life is complicated, and with that complication, with that complication comes decisions. And one of those decisions that you should make right now is to go ahead and hit that subscribe, and drop the like, say hello. Uh, quick reminder at the end, again, not financial advice. We're not a financial advisor. We're not a licensed financial advisor. We're not your financial advisor. This is for YouTube. It's financial entertainment. It's financial education. As always, I hope you all are having fun, and I hope you have a great day.